Ms. Davis, thank you for your testimony and for being with us today. We appreciate that, and I congratulate you on a perfectly curated background. It looks uh, beautiful coming across the screen. I wish the message that you were giving us were equally as attractive. Um, let me go to Instagram CEO Adam Masseri recently saying, and I used his interview in my opening statement, that 13-year-olds are not allowed on Instagram. Is that true? Yes or no? 13-year-olds and above are allowed on Instagram. Under 13-year-olds are not. But we know that you are doing research on children as young as eight and are marketing to eight to 12-year-olds, correct? Um, we do not market to 8 to 12 year olds uh, because they are not on Instagram, 13 year olds and above. If we find an account of someone who's under 13, we remove them. In fact, in the last three months, we removed 600,000 accounts of under 13 year olds. Okay, so uh, talk to me about how you enforce the policy that uh, 13 year old, under 13, cannot be on Instagram. Yeah, actually, I appreciate that question. So there are a number of different things that we do. We have an age screen when someone tries to join Instagram. If we see someone trying to repeatedly change the date to get past that, we actually will restrict their ability to access the, access the app. We also allow people to report underage accounts, even if you're not on Facebook, and we will uh, remove them. And we're investing in using AI and other signals to remove okay, underage then accounts. Let as well. me, not to interrupt, but I've got five minutes. Uh, then talk to me about what the map is, because I know you've, your research, your research shows that you've looked into using the map for kids under 13. So why don't you explain that to us? Map is just it, uh, a measure of how many people are using the site in a month. It's monthly active people. Okay, but you were going to apply that to children under 13, so therefore you were trying to quantify the number of children that were under 13 years of age that were using your site, correct? Respectfully, that, that doesn't sound accurate to me. In fact, what we are trying to do is okay, to remove... Okay, well then let's, let's have site. you clarify that for the record because your research shows that you were using the map on children under 13. I want to move on and talk to you about the information I've seen about the presence of content on Facebook and Instagram that is used to recruit women into domestic servitude. This is a kind of trafficking where people are forced to work against their will for little or no pay. Their passports are often taken away from them. They can be auctioned online and abused. And I have a poster that is behind me. I hope that you can see this. I've seen information suggesting that Facebook knew this content was on its website but did nothing to delete it until Apple threatened to drop Facebook from the Apple App Store. To quote from a Facebook internal report, and I quote, was this issue known to Facebook before the BBC inquiry and Apple escalation? Yes, end quote. But Quoting again, due to the underreporting of this information and absence of proactive detection, domestic servitude content remained on the platform. Removing our applications from Apple platforms would have had potentially severe consequences to the business. End quote. Ms. Davis, did Facebook know about content on its platform used to recruit women into forced slavery, and why did you not remove it until Apple threatened to drop Facebook from the App Store? Respectfully, Senator, um, I, I, don't, I don't agree with that characterization of, of what occurred. In fact, we have policies against sex trafficking on this our This is your reporting. <laughs> Ms. Davis, this is your, your company's reporting. 
You knew this was there. You knew it was there. But you didn't do anything about it. Is it still there? Are you still allowing sex trafficking on Facebook? Is this something that girls as young as eight who are on your site are exposed to? Let's get a little bit more definition around this. One more question for you. One of the Wall Street Journal articles uh, came out Monday, shared Facebook research about the product segments it would like to target in the future. It shows younger and younger kids. This is your poster. I mean, this is your graphic. I put it on a poster. Where we've been and where we're going. In fact, documents I saw showed Facebook doing market research on eight-year-olds, and I'm quoting from you all now, tweens and younger teens are very similar in digital behaviors. Even kids as young as eight are interested in similar digital experiences, end quote. The documents show survey results into the digital interest of eight to 10-year-olds. So with this categorization in mind, does Facebook conduct market research on tweens, yes or no? Thank you, Senator. I'd first like to actually clarify that, that document that you have up behind you. That document is actually from an age-appropriate design code, something that Senator Markey and others have actually given to tech companies as a way for us to think about how we design for, for different, different ages. Um, it is actually a direction so on policy. So you are admitting to me that you're designing for 8 to 12-year-olds. I think that that is um, something that is very interesting because you know that's a violation of the Children's Online Privacy Act. And I guess what you're telling us then is that you also are doing market research on children and that you are continuing to collect data on children as you try to figure out what type digital experience children, children ages eight to 12 are interested in having. I'm over time, Mr. Chairman, I will yield back. Thanks, Senator Blackburn. Senator 